Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be doing a cash stuffing for my second paycheck of February. And I do wanna point out the elephant in the room. Look at this beautiful tray. Shout out to Plan with Elisa G for inspiring me to purchase one myself. I got this off of Amazon. I think the brand is Man Mantello or something like that. And of course, just as I'm gonna film, the dogs start playing with their toys. So if you hear that background noise, I do apologize as always. But again, this baby here, it's not the sunglass acrylic tray, but it is still an acrylic tray. Um, it's meant for eyeshadow palettes, but look how cute it is. It's perfect. It's a lot smaller than the sunglasses tray, obviously, but I think I got this for less than $15, like $13.99 maybe. But when Elisa got it, she got it at a discounted price. So I was kind of bummed out that I didn't get for like the $6 or $7 that she mentioned in her video, but it's still pretty cheap and it came you know, within that prime delivery. So like two two days, cause I ordered it on the weekend. So I got this little setup going. Hopefully y'all like it. Let me know what you think. I got my bills all nicely done and it does have an extra slot. So I just put my um, hundred envelopes envelope in there. So that'll be there till we get to that. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Today we're stuffing a total of, um, I don't even remember anymore, 400 and like 50 something dollars, maybe, I don't know. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with our cash envelopes that I keep in my wallet. First, I'm going to go through all of them and see if I have any dollars left over for my dollar savings challenge. And to start with allowance, I have $2. So I'm going to put that to the side. Eating out has a dollar. Gas has a five. I'm going to let that roll over. Groceries. No dollars in household. Okay. So how do I want to do this? I mean, movie guys. Let me move this in a little bit because I feel like I'm standing really far. So, get it together, girl. Get it together. We are not prepared. Okay. I think I'm going to take these out because I don't like how this binder, like, sits like this. So, Ooh, we're just going to take these out. I'm going to... Just kidding. Kona, can you wait till I'm done? Hold on. Be right... Okay, I had to put the dogs up. <laughs> so... This dollar savings challenge today is getting $3. So that's all I had saved since last week. Do you guys want me to count this? I wasn't gonna count it yet, but it's getting kind of thick. Let's just count it. And now Remy's playing with his toy. So in the dollar savings challenge, as of February 19th, we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven dollars. So twenty-seven dollars saved so far in the dollar savings challenge. And I did start this at the beginning of the year. So you guys want to know a fun fact? I used to save all my dollars, not like as a challenge or anything, but I used to save any dollar bill that I would get from spending or whatever. And I would save it in an envelope under my mattress. <clears throat> and I barely cashed that envelope in, envelope full of dollars in last year when I bought my house. Cause I, I had a lot of money in there and I used that money to go towards my house expenses when I moved in. So that's the dollar challenge all stuffed. We're gonna go ahead, where do I wanna put these? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do cash envelopes first. So allowance is gonna get its usual 100 and we're gonna do that in 20s. So 
So that's 20, 40, 60, 81. I didn't even look if I had any star notes. Did you guys see any in my last cash stuffing? I don't think so. And I did use some money from my sinking fund, so some money is going to be off compared to the last stuffing. Okay, that's allowance all stuffed. Next we have eating out, and that's also going to get 100. So I'm going to do 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 9, hopefully that's 100. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay. And I like my big bills. On the front. I got two small sub cards from Firehouse Subs. Let me know if you guys like Firehouse Subs. I used to like Quiznos. That was my ish, but since they closed down, Firehouse is like the closest thing I can get to Quiznos out here. So... They messed up my order. That's why they gave me those freebies. I'm one of those customers. Yes, I know. <clears throat> okay, moving on to gas. Gas has $5 left over from last week or the last time that I stuffed. I have like half a tank now, so I'm going to need to pump soon. Gas is going to get another $25, putting that at 30 20 25 30 <clears throat> and there's gas all stuffed next is groceries and groceries is not getting any money this week it has $40 in it and I don't anticipate buying much of anything soon I think I just need to buy like coffee milk creamer I don't really need anything so groceries has $40. Household also is not getting stuff this week, but we still have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 dollars. Haven't had any household necessities come up yet. We might need some air fresheners soon, but we're still good for now. Okay. Moving on to sinking funds. So the first one is going to be RJ and he's getting $20. Okay. How's everybody's Friday going? I have to work tonight, so I'm trying to get this video up. Okay, RJ has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 163. RJ's all stuffed. Next is going to be Beauty. Beauty is going to get $5. And I did use some money from this envelope. So it only has a dollar left. So we have $6 into Beauty. Okay. Black Friday is going to get $5 as well. Black Friday now has 20, 25, 30, 31. I don't really have a set goal for Black Friday. It might be less than Christmas for sure because I don't really... Black Friday is mainly shopping for myself. So I don't really know what I want this year. I bought two TVs last year. I bought an iMac. I bought a lot of electronics last year, but that's because I just moved into my house in July. So I needed to get like stuff for the house. And I use, I took advantage of those Black Friday deals that Walmart had. And 
yeah so i don't really know what i want this year for black friday um but that's separate from christmas christmas is gifts for friends and family and all that jazz so anyways yeah i don't know what my goal is for black friday probably 500 dollars or so um car insurance is our next envelope and that's going to be getting one dollar today and I did mention in my um, budget with me or my paycheck budget breakdown. That is a mouthful. How do you guys say that? In my paycheck budget breakdown, I mentioned that I'm saving um, enough so that I can pay my car insurance for a full year, so that I can only pay, so that I only have to pay it once. Because right now I pay it every month and it renews. Um, every six months <clears throat> so sometimes the policy goes down or it stays the same after six months but if I pay for a full year and um, whenever it's due it'd be a little bit cheaper than paying every month for a full year so I think I would save like between 12 to 15 dollars which is not a lot but it's 15 dollars that I could stuff somewhere else in my envelope so that's what I'm doing. I feel like that would work for me. Um, so I added a dollar and that brings car insurance to 20, 30, 35, 36. I'm all about cutting corners and trying to save money anyway, anyhow. So we do that. <clears throat> um, car maintenance is the next envelope and that's also going to be receiving a dollar. bringing car maintenance to 20, 30, 35, 40, 41. And ironically, I mentioned, I think I mentioned in my breakdown video, the last video that went up, that I don't really require much maintenance on my car and coming back from the bank today, <laughs> my tire pressure light came on, so. Love that for us. Car registration is the next envelope. And that's also receiving a dollar. These dollars are crusty. Oh, whatever, money's money. Bringing car registration to 20, 40, 1, 2, and 3. And I don't need to really stuff this hardcore until maybe about the summertime. That's car registration. Christmas is receiving $40. And my goal for Christmas is $1,000. So Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 111. And that's great progress for mid-February. We're mid-February, right? No, we're like three quarters of February. <laughs> God help me. Okay, funsies is the next envelope today is getting $1, another crusty dollar. And I did use some money from this envelope to go towards my massage that I had last week. So funsies now has $2. Next envelope is going to be gifts. Gifts is receiving $1. Ooh, this one's a crispy dollar. Thank God. Bringing gifts to 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, $25. Okay. Here. <clears throat> I hope I'm in frame. Um, HOA dues is not getting stuffed this time around. I'm actually taking out 21. Well, I took out $21 so that I could pay for my March HOA dues. So this now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 dollars. So still good here. And this envelope is just a cushion whenever I have a lot of monthly fixed expenses or bills due and I don't really want 
to add HOA dues to those bills and expenses. So I use this envelope as a cushion to help pay for that whenever I need the extra money. Next is home decor. Home decor is getting $2. Look at this nasty George Washington. <clears throat> home decor now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57 dollars. Home renovations is also getting $2. My um, 100 envelopes that I'm doing with my roommate, we're saving towards home renovations as well. So this goes coincide with this one. But I just keep them separate. <clears throat> home renovations now has... 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77. 177. And I think the first thing on our list for renovations is ceiling fans, or at least one for the living room. Um, medical is getting $200. So that's going to be. 150, 200. And medical is empty because I did have to pay for my orthodontics. So medical only has $200 in it. Any of those star notes? Nope. No love for the star notes. Okay. Next is going to be new car, which is getting $2. Somebody commented on my last video what my goal for my new car was. I don't have one. It's not a priority. I'm not going to buy a new car for a good, I don't know, five, six years or so. I just, like I said, I just bought a house in July, so I'm working on that mortgage. It's pretty much the only debt besides credit card debt that I have. Um, so once I probably get some of those credit cards paid off, um, then I can probably consider a new car. But my car is a 2014 it's fully functional you know it runs like it's still brand new aside from the tire pressure light coming on but that's that's normal um yeah everything with that car is fine so i have a reliable car right now so a new car is not a priority at all whatsoever but i have the extra money so i figure why not start saving for it you know so a new car has 20 21 22 dollars Um, office is going to be getting $15 and I am thinking of either changing the name of this envelope or adding a business envelope so that I can separate those expenses. Oh my, Remy. So office now has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. And I consider my office where... I do all my Etsy stuff. Okay. Remy Martin will not be getting stuff because he has a whopping amount of cash in here. And um, he will be needing a bag of food, which I'll probably pick up this weekend. So right now he has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85 dollars. He's rich. He has his own Instagram, by the way. It's linked down below. It's called Remy Martin the Pug. Uh, next envelope is going to be retail therapy, which is going to be getting $10. And it currently only has $10, so that brings retail therapy to $20. Probably going to pick up some new shoes for work or some, some Crocs. So that's retail therapy. And then the last envelope is gonna be travel, which I have here. 
And that's going to be receiving $2. Bringing travel to 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62 which is actually pretty good. And again, I don't know, I don't have any travel plans this year. If anything, I'll go to California and visit my mom, but. Okay, that's travel all stuffed. So that's all, oh. It's all these envelopes. And then, this one's kind of thin, but I'll do a quick little flip through. And I'll try to link all my um, binders and such in the description below. I know I haven't been doing that. But if you're interested in any of these envelopes, the zipper ones, they're all available on my Etsy shop. Um, as well as the ones that I keep in my wallet. So these ones are also available on my Etsy shop. I make them myself. I will be having a sale at the end of the month. My end of the month sale. Um, I'll have everything... 15% off uh, while supplies last, of course. I did this in January. I'm struggling right now, guys. I did it in January and nobody really knew about it. I still was growing my Instagram and my YouTube, so I didn't really have much followers. But I have like 83 subscribers on YouTube now. And like a hundred followers on you on Instagram, and I'm so thankful for you guys. This budgeting community has been really amazing and welcoming. So thank you guys for all your love and support. But yeah, so I didn't really have a following in January when I started my or when I had my sale. So I figured I'd try it again in February. So I'll have um end of the month 15% off sale for everything in my Etsy shop, all my envelopes. And yeah, all the details will be down below. You won't need a coupon code. It'll just automatically apply to your cart. And before I get carried away, let's stuff this last envelope with the $3. This is for the 100 envelope challenge that I'm doing with my roommate. We both get paid bi-weekly, but our paydays are opposite weeks. So I get paid, he got paid last week and I get paid this week. Well, I got paid today. So I'm stuffing mine. So we only pull one envelope a week. So there's $3 in there. And I think we have like about $300 saved so far. About three to $400. So let me know if you guys want me to count the 100 envelope challenge with you guys in the next cash envelope stuffing. So I think that's all for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Etsy shop, which is Sam's Crafts and Customs. Um, I might be adding a few new uh, vinyl colors to some of my designs. So, and that'll be available for the end of the month sale. So, yeah, I think that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.